we will discuss about the torque transmitting capacity of a clutch generally torque transmitting capacity of a clutch can, clutch can be analyzed with the help of two theories first one is the uniform pressure theory and the second one is uniform wear theory in this video we will allocate uniform pressure theory how you can derive a torque with the help of torque transmitting capacity of a clutch with the help of uniform pressure theory now let us consider a frictional plate in a clutch okay and also consider a radial an elemental a ring at a distance of r whose elemental thickness is dr let us consider this pb is the operating force acting on the frictional plate because of this operating force some uniform pressure is also developed against this operating force now let us consider small d be the inner or internal dia of the uh, frictional disc and capital d be the external dia of the frictional disc and small p be the intensity of the pressure which is acting on the frictional surfaces at this point so this is the intensity of the pressure okay and capital so sorry this is w w which is acting at the frictional plate which is nothing but a operating force now consider elemental ring of radius r radial thickness must be dr now what is the elemental area 2 pi into r into dr so this is the elemental area right now this is the elemental area this uh, dotted portion or shaded portion is the 2 pi r into dr okay now what is the elemental axial force we know that force pressure is equal to force divided by area force is equal to pressure into area so intensity of pressure acting on the frictional plate into 2 pi r into dr okay now elemental frictional force is equals to if you multiply the above equation this equation with coefficient of friction mu you will get the elemental frictional force and the elemental frictional torque finally this is the required equation frictional torque torque is nothing but force into radius that's why mu into p into 2 pi r into dr into r multiply it with r you will get the frictional torque so torque t is equals to 2 pi mu into p r square dr so this is the elemental torque but we are going to derive the total torque if you integrate within the limits that is internal radius and external radius of the frictional plate you will get the total torque required so t is equals to integral of r1 to r2 2 pi into mu into p into r square dr here we are considering the pressure is uniformly acting on the frictional plate so you can take this p out from the integral now p is equals to 2 pi into mu into p into r square r square integration is r cube divided by 3 and apply the limits r1 and r2 finally you will get an equation like this p is equals to 2 by 3 into pi into mu into p into r1 cube minus r2 cube where r1 is equals to internal dia frictional frictional plate and r2 is the external dia of the frictional plate now we also know that this intensity of pressure is equals to load divided by area that is operating force divided by area p is equals to w divided by pi into r1 square minus r2 square substitute the value of p in the above equation you will get the final equation is t is equals to 2 by 3 into pi into mu w divided by pi into r1 square minus r2 square so finally you will get t is equals to 2 by 3 mu w into r1 cube minus r2 cube divided by r1 square minus r2 square it is very important formula for gate aspirants and Indian engineering services aspirants also PSU aspirants